ओम गुरुदेव गुरुदेव उसको ही बंद करो तो संस्कृत इस काल संस्कृत इस लेटर नेम बिफोर इट वाज काल देव भाषा देव डेटी भाषा लैंग्वेज So here are all together forty nine letters. So fourteen vowels. Two ayoga vah. थ्री कंसोनेंट्स ऑल टूगेदर फोर्टी नाइन सी इंपॉर्टेंट भोगिल सिंह संस्कृत आर काल स्वर स्वर सो वी कैन ऑपरेट दिस वर्ल्ड Swa plus Ra. Swa means self. Ra means shining. Or Raja, self king, self shining. So these vowels do not take help from any other letter. Acha. Therefore, self king, self shining. Yes. <laughs> And forty-nine are manvantaras. You know manvantar. I heard in the 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 word. Manvantar means time of manus. Forty manu. Time controller. And manvantar means time of manus. So cycle, fourteen uh, manvantaras. Cycle of fourteen manvantaras. In time controllers, time controllers. Acha. So symbolically, these fourteen vowels are fourteen manvantaras means time controller. Sanskrit is musical language. Every word musical. So time controller means rhythm. This comes from heart, heart beat. Music. is running in our heart pulse so this sanskrit so the 14 vowels are time 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 controllers manvantaras 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 man van ta time control now we come to two ayoga vah so we operate this a yoga and vah Vah means being carried or being pronounced. Yo means with help or joining. A means all vowels. A is abbreviated from all vowels. First letter is A. In all languages, in Greek, Arabic, Sanskrit, A. So A. Means all vowels and R means also negative. It is coming. 
So to ayogavaha means these can't be pronounced without help of all vowels. Means these are pronounced with help of all vowels. And consonants in Sanskrit we say Vyanjan 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 So Vyanjan has two meanings Vyanjan means spices first name. So spices means sugar, salt, chili. You can eat only spices. You can eat only chili. Can you eat? Sure, but it's very strong. <laughs> or hot. Difficult. Yeah. Uh, can you eat only salt? So how to eat? You mix these spices in some food. Then food will be eaten. And these will be eaten. So these consonants are like spices. You can't pronounce alone this, means you can't eat. You will mix with vowels, then pronounce it. Mm. And uh, the A Yoga Vaha? Yes. The A was ne negative, neg negation. And no, no, no. A means all vowels. All vowels, yeah. And then the Yoga. Joining. Joining. I shall explain what is the difference between Ayoga Vaha and consonants. Coming. Yeah. I so, as you see, if you write K, you can't pronounce. If you write G, but in Roman they pronounce in different way, but it will come K. S C you can't pronounce C A T you pronounce cat. If you drop this A, can you pronounce? Impossible. So this consonant mix with vowels, then pronounce it. In all languages, not only in Sanskrit. In all languages, consonant mixed with vowels, then pronunciable, otherwise no. So consonants are like spices. You can't eat only spices, so you can't pronounce only consonants. So you mix with vowels, then pronounce it. Mm -hmm. Like that you mix spices with food, mm -hmm. then eatable, otherwise no. Clear? Yes. Okay, so Vyanjanas are 33. So first of all, two Ayogavaha means two doctors of deities. You know the name? Ashwini Kumar. Two doctors. Do doctors. Doctors. Doctor. Uh, this uh, who make doctor, treat, acha. treatment? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, doctor. Doctor. Yeah, yeah. So these two doctors 
helped one Rishi, Chiavan Muni. So Chiavan Muni was old and they had uh, made one process, sauce, sauce. And he was licking that uh, sauce and he became young man. This sauce is special, uh, uh, still is available, it is called Chiavana Prash. Have you heard? No, never. So, name of Muni Chiavana and Prash means sauce. Achha. As it is in German, it's SN. S, 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 N. S N. Same Sanskrit is Ash. Ashanam. Ashanam. German is SN. Sanskrit is Ashana. Mm. Same sound. And from Ash, pra prefix comes Prash. But in German is Fresen. You know Fresen? Fresen. To graze by animals. Fresen. Fresen. In Sanskrit is Prash. Pra, ash Prash. Asha. So Chivan Prash is available in Ayurvedic shops still. So these two doctors helped this Muni. And in Tantric uh, uh, opinion, every limb of our body consists of deities. You know this? Yes. The yes. place of these uh, deities in our nostrils. Achha. Yes. So two nostrils. Mm -hmm. So the first one was Ashwini Kumar. Ashwini Kumar. And the second? No, no. Both were Ashwini Kumar. Ah, these were uh, uh, born together. What do you say in English? Like uh, twins. Twins. Achha. These were twins. Ashwini Kumar. So these were twins and their place in our body, nostrils. So see, if you understand we are making rules, yes. This mnemonics, we are making rules. You understand this, the place here. And uh, 33 Vajanas, uh, in Rigvedic uh, literature, only 33 deities are there, 33. Later on they developed, so became 33 cores. So, so far only three, 33, only 33 gods. Later on developed, so now we see thousands, I mean 33 cores. And uh, altogether numbers 49. And 49 types air, wind. So I found uh, these 49 names in Puranic literature. So this wind moves in 49 ways. And these letters come from wind. As we desire, our mind goes to the navel, and navel is fire, mm. attach fire and comes back, pronounced letter comes. So 49, with help of 49 years, symbolically 49 years, and 49 let letters, symbolically. As I Use first of all 14 vowels symbolically 14 manvantras. Two ayogava is symbolically two Ashwini Kumar. 33 consonants, 33 gods. And altogether 49, so 49 number of winds. 
clear? Can you remember? Th uh, 33 gods? 33 gods in Rigved. In the Rigveda? Yes. Or deities? Yes. In the or origin, original? But originally they, 33. They, 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 and then later developed to 33. After gods. developed. Yeah. And two. Two. I don't know. Ayova. Ayoga. Ayoga Vaha. 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 Mm. So this line to makes two beats. Ayoga Vaha. Yeah. I told every word is musical. Oh, two beats. Ah, yoga, vaha. Yeah. So it is coming. So we explained all letters. Now, how these letters come from chakra? <laughs> So first of all, we come to our formula. This whole Sanskrit building dependent upon one formula. If you know this one formula, you can understand quick Sanskrit. This formula invented by me. So I question. Please think. This world came in existence with how many uh, tattvas? You know tattva? The elements? How many elements? Mm. I ask you a question, please think. Five. Please reduce. I ask you a question. Mm. Sometimes question him, sometimes question you. It's then not you five. Huh? Not five? Less than five. Less. Please yeah. think. Maybe only one? One can't uh, produce. And two. <laughs> two. That's a... And what are that? So that are conscious and unconscious. Conscious is called Chetana in Sanskrit. Unconscious Achetana or Jada. Achetana and... Chetana means conscious. Ji. And Achetana, negative. Ji. Unconscious. And what was the other, other name for Achetana? Jada. Jada. J A D A. <clears throat> so see, about this body is unconscious and soul is conscious. So two elements are in our body conscious and unconscious. Everywhere you will see these two elements, conscious and unconscious. I'll give an example. People think God, so God is unseen. This whole world attracted toward the absolute. I say absolute in the place of God. Okay? So all these stars, planets attracted toward the God and moving, dancing. Whole world is dancing. So our body is come in contact of our soul. So body is moving. And separation Body falls like mud, mm. no movement. So body was first of all immoving. It came in contact with soul, so they come to move. 
So in body you can see two elements. Unconscious body and conscious soul. I give other example. You see iron and magnet. Iron not moving, but it comes in the contact of magnet. Iron moves. Do you know this? What do you mean? This is magnet. Not moving. Ah. My God is not moving. And I put here this. Achha. Moving. Not moving. So this was Achetan unconscious. No life, but you put here, life came. So if you put here hand, even then, so powerful. Hmm. Moving. So body is like iron and soul is like magnet. So understand, this formula most important. And according to Sanskrit philosophy, we can say Purusha and Prakriti. So Prakriti means nature, Achetana, Jada, unconscious. And Purusha means conscious. Prakriti and Purusha. So I give three examples. Prakriti and Purush means nature and God, iron and magnet, so most understandable this example. So Purush is not moving, soul is not moving, body is moving. Absolute is not moving. Other planets are moving, attracted towards the God. And third example, servant and master. Master sits at one place and he orders servant, so servant is running. <laughs> And master is sad, servant shows as he is also sad. Master is happy, servant shows he is also happy. So he follows the nature of master. Mm -hmm. These two things most important in this parmula. Whole building of Sanskrit dependent upon this parmula. Now I come. Okay, clear? You may ask question if you have any doubt. So, chakra is this. Second. In tantric process, in the beginning, Tantrikas were worshipped, Tantrikas worshipped only letters as they are gods, deities and also they were making mandalas, this is called Yantra. Yantra, Mantra. So, tant, in Tantra included these two, Mantra and Yantra. So, every letter of uh, Sanskrit 
treated as mantra. Yes. So, I question, as some person, respectable persons come to you, how you treat him or her? So, what do you give first of all to the person who come to you? Uh, I show her, him or her the, the respect, like uh, I say Namaste in India. <laughs> <laughs> I will do this. <laughs> so this is only subtle. Yeah. So first of all you give to seat him. Mm -hmm. To sit. Acha. As he told you please sit. Mm -hmm. So you have taken seat. So in Sanskrit title, this line is a seat. So letters like deity, so they sit on seat. Now, I divide this circle in two parts. So half circle this, half this. So left to right, half circle this left to right. And right to left, half circle. This is about all letters. If you understand beautiful writing of these half circles, you write beautiful letters. As you see, as I told you that uh, when these planets come in contact with absolute, they move. Move means change. Mm -hmm. Our body comes in contact with soul, so body moves. Moves means change. Moves means changes. From childhood, you change. Teenagers, you come, change. Young, change. You are changing. All people are changing from childhood, but soul is not changing. So, I divided this chakra in two parts, means change. So this change half circle and half circle. Hmm. All letters come from these two types, half circle. So, now I write, this is our circle and this circle symbolically like globe, world. world. And uh, this line, controller of time, one line, controller of time. So, first of all I ask you a question, two points are here, one is conscious, other is unconscious, so please decide which point is conscious, which is unconscious. So, I explain first of all, then she will say. Uh, the one to the left is uh, Purush. Uh, this? Yeah. It's conscious. And the other one is uh, unconscious. Prakrit. 
Okay, so what do you think? I also think the one to the left is conscious and the other one is unconscious. Left is conscious. Yeah. This same as the other one. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. You see, in body, here is Ida, here is Pingala, moon and sun. See this photograph. Left side Parvati, right side Shiva. Hmm. So left side Prakriti, right side Purush. Achha. So Prakriti is moving, Purush never moves. So understand this formula, this never will move. This sign of Purush, controller of time. And left sided uh, this point is uh, Prakriti, mean iron, servant, it will move, always. Okay, so this conscious, this unconscious, I join together. This line comes to conscious, so consciousness comes in unconsciousness, it moves. So when this comes in contact, so this moves. As he told you that left sided Prakriti, iron, and right sided Purusha means magnet. So as it came in contact with Purusha, conscious, it moved. So this was the first letter in the beginning. But later, how it is written? So this half circle and other half circle, this connection of line and this controller of time. So, ah. One meet. Ah. Please pronounce. So three types uh, you can pronounce in three ways. Ah, and other half. Ah, and ah. In three ways you can pronounce. Ah, half circle. Ah, ah. Music. And this is symbolically achyuta, means uh, abbreviation. This A ah is abbreviated from achyuta. You know achyuta? No. Achyuta. Chut means changeable. Achyut, unchangeable.
So they say, Akaro Vasudeva Syat. A is Vasudeva means Vishnu or Krishna. Akaro Vasudeva Syat. Mean this you make every vision. So from Achyut comes A, abbreviated. Means Vishnu. So it means evaluation. Vishnu. Vishnu. Abbreviation. 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 Abbreviation means short form. Yeah, okay. So this A is abbreviated from the word Achyut. In Bhagavad Gita also it says Aksharanam Akarosmi. I am A among all letters. In uh, 10th chapter, Bhagavad Gita. Aksharanam Akarosmi. Come in. So you found how this A came in existence from chapter. So when it came in contact with this controller of time, God, or you can say magnate, or you can say master, so it changed. Half circle. So all letters come from half circle. Now I write other A. Uh, So this is iron and this is magnet. So iron attracted toward the magnet. And this, this unconscious, this part, this conscious, so this go to meet conscious part. So we came. Ah. 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 Yes. Hindi people don't pronounce. Ah. Ah. Or you can say Ah. Ah. Or you can say Ah. Ah. Measurement. In music, measurement. Or music comes from Sanskrit. Hmm. If you pronounce in proper way. So this is written. Two controllers. Two controllers. If I write many are. How will compose? So will you write like this? No. Question. No. Why? Uh, because it's wrong. <laughs> 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 I don't know why. Uh, Give the cause. I don't. Uh, yeah, I know. Give I don't, the cause. I don't recognize it. I've never seen it. So. No, no. This is no. I say cause. Okay. Why not? I don't know. Because if you see that there are one, two, three, four, so there must, must be four lines according to this way. But you have impression as you learn, you copied letters. Hmm. You did not do the calls. You hmm. learnt Hindi script, okay. copied. Mm -hmm. So it came to your mind that this is not correct. But why? Because there are four R, so you write four lines. Understand my question? I'll, I'll give an answer. Yeah. 
So this goes to attach this, so remove this unconscious. And this dissolve in this A. So remove this. And this dissolve in this A. Acha. So it remains two lines. As I taught you in Kundalini, earth element dissolves in water. Yeah. Water dissolves in fire. Yeah. So later, settle. Because later is like God. Conscious. So this unconscious. Acha. So one dissolves in other. And after this remain one. No other is dead where he can go to dissolve. It's only two lines. But if you pronounce longer, if you call some person, so you pronounce three beats. Understand? If some person is far, you call him. A. A. Three beats. So how you write? Vocative. Okay. As people sing Hare Krishna, this vocative, mm -hmm. Hare vocative, they call Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, three beats, Hare Hare. <laughs> okay, so this one is called in Sanskrit. It comes from Hras root, Hras. So Hras means to decay, Hras means uh, to abridged. Means only one line, one beat, Hras root. And this long A is called Dirgha. So two beats. Dirgha. Dirgha. Means long. If three beats, as you call some person, as you call Om, three beats are there. Yes, because this is vocative. Om, this pronunciation. You call, so three beats. Not Om. Om. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is called Pluto. Plu me to jump. So when you put down three beats, so you jump from one, two and third. And how to write this Purutha? So write three numbers here. This Purutha. Three, this three. So you will see sometimes in Om, somewhere they write. In this way. O, three number. We pronounce three beats. Om. This Purtu. So one beat Hraswa, two beats Dirha, three beats Purtu. And Sanskrit uh, for vocative says 
संबोधनम 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 बोधा सम रूट इज बुद्ध बुद्ध मीन्स टू अंडरस्टैंड अच्छा लाइक इन इन बुद्धि यस अच्छा एंड बुद्ध मीन्स आल्सो अवेकन जी टू अवेकन सो यू कॉल सम पर्सन सो ही अवेकन्स So it is coming. Everything very clear. You understand why this, like this composed composition. So sambodha nam is vocative. Now, what is Sanskrit letter? Because every letter is here. A a letter. So what is called in Sanskrit letter? So in Sanskrit we say varna. And varna meaning is color. As you see, Brahman, Kshatri, Shudra, Vaish, they say this is Varna. You know this? Hmm. In color. In shape. So why? Let us are called color. Question. Do you know? Why let us are called colors? because uh, in second century of bc there was uh, king ashoka who popularized buddhism so he inscribed preaching of buddha on a stone and fill up to with color that later we seen There is nowadays on the marble plate, people inscribe letters and fill up with the color, black, green, etc. Then plate. Therefore, from that period, letter was written, pronounced at as varna. But before Ashokan period, what name was of letter? अक्षर आई सी एल नेगेटिव हा नो क्षर मीन्स डिके पैरिश अक्षर मीन्स इन पैरिश In Pāṇīnīyan period, Bhagavad Gītā period, no section, no varna. In Tantric period, varna was. So, Akshar means imperishable. means irremovable but 
be removed. How it is accepted? <laughs> Understand? Please think. I don't understand. <laughs> you understand this? I understand what it means. The uh, akshara. Akshara means irremovable. Yeah. But they removed. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so how is this akshara? It's still there. Hmm? It's, it, it is still there. It's just kept the same. No, not here. Like this. No. But it's not gone. I have written here. So it is gone. It's gone away. But you can't explain, explain cause, why, 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 not clear. Because they, it, it is an impression from your previous study. But you don't understand cause, why it is imperishable. You can say it is not born, but where, where it exists? I explain. <laughs> tantra. <laughs> because everything, this Tantra. Yeah. Yes. So see, this is your Kundalini, your body, and here is uh, Kundalini goddess. So here, five types of speech. Five places. And five chakras. First of all in mouth, as we speak. So this is called Vaikhari Vak. What means speech? Vaikari, loud. So, this fifth speech is here in Kundalini place, it is called Para. Parava. Para means beyond. And this speech stays as in the form of seed. In psychology, they say para, para. In the place of para, they say para. Same, same word is there. Pronunciation different. In Sanskrit, para. And Latin, they say para. Nowadays, they, nowadays, there is one department opened in psychological department. It is called para psychology. Mm -hmm. So this is speech, gross speech in our mouth. What was the name? Vaikhari Va. Vaikhari. This is not our subject, but uh, I explain. Acha. So, Vaikhari Va is this. So, why did you not learn from Kamalakar Mishu? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This, uh, Shaivism? Acha. Yes, Kashmiri Shaivism. Yes. So, this Vaikhari Va means loud speech. We beat our lips, so it's called beat in gross sound. Oh. Second is in our throat. So people chant outside. When they are tired, so take take rosary. Sattam comes here. And this dissolve in the heart. So it is called anahata, unbeaten. And this dissolve in navel. So it is called pashyanti. And uh, as in Buddhism, they uh, teach uh, vipassana. In navel. And from navel it dissolves in Kundalini place, it is called para. Para is akshar. It is called Shabda Brahma, sound god, in the form of seed. As inside seed, whole tree, whole flavor, everything is there. But so subtle. If you say to the child, here is uh, everything, tree, he will break, is, uh, you are 
speaking untruth, he has nothing. But really the seed, everything is there. Like that, this is called Parava, beyond the speech, imperishable, Akshara. Therefore they say Akshar Brahma. Akshara letters Brahma. As I explained, all letters are treated as God, deities. So, before this Ashokan period, this letter was called Akshara. Clear? Yes. Cause, without cause, only imagination. Yes. Mm. Here, no imagination in my kitchen. Yeah. You can find answer. So second is Akshara. In Tantric period, mm. okay, so two. Now, what was alphabet in Sanskrit? Alphabet. What is the meaning of alphabet? They took only two letters from Greek. Alpha, beta. Alpha, beta, epsilon, zeta, eta, theta. This Greek letters. They took only two letters, first and second alphabet. <laughs> no meaning. But in Sanskrit, you say Varnamala. Mala means group of beads. This mala. So every bead like one akshar, one letter. So around the neck of Kali, there are 51 skull and 51 letters. In Tantra, every word has two meanings, gross and subtle. So gross meaning for common people, subtle meaning for advanced people. Yes. In Vedic literature, every Mantra has three meanings. In Tantra, every word has two meanings, gross and subtle. So, Varnamala means alphabet. And still, in Hindi literature, they say Varnamala. They don't say Akshar. And before this Ashokan period was called Akshar Samamnai. Nai means alphabet. Akshar. Samamnai means group. Akshara Samam Nayaha And in Tantric literature, Tantric period, it was called Akshamala. Tantric period. So I explain that every word in Tantra has two meanings, gross and subtle. So gross meaning, Aksha means Rudraksha. You know Rudraksha? This one. Yes. Rudraksha Mala. Rudraksha Mala. Okay. So they chant. 
on me like this. So Aksha, Rudraksh. Aksha means eye. Eye of Rudra means Shiva. Yeah. So there are five lines mean five faces of Shiva. One face, one face uh, rare. One face, two face rare. So what, what do you mean by five lines? Here you will see five lines. See? Oh, in the, in the Rudraksha? Yes, yes. In five faces. Oh, really? Yes. I never looked at <laughs> <laughs> Tantra. Gotcha. This is Tantra, you don't know. Explanation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, gross means action is Rudraksha. And subtle meaning, first letter A, in Tantra last letter is Ksha, together Aksha, means whole, 51 letters in Tantra. Yes, oh. all letters. Yeah. A to Ksha. First letter is A, last letter is Ksha in Tantra. Subtle meaning of Aksha, Akshamala. Akshamala. Akshamala means uh, group of letters. Aksha. A to Ksha. Abbreviation. As your name is uh, Hendrik Jani. Jani? Yeah. Jane. Shania. It's a pronounced Shania. 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 No, Nia. Uh, Shania. Shania. <laughs> Long E. Oh, Shania. <laughs> Shania. Yeah, Shania. Mm. So if I make uh, abbreviation, so it will be H J. Oh. The initials. Yes. Yeah. Abbreviation. Short form. A J. So first letter and last. So A first letter, Sha last letter. Mm -hmm. Means first and last. This set of meaning. Means all letters. And in tenth century. <coughs> In the period of uh, Abhinav Gupta, have you heard the name Abhinav Gupta? Yes. So he explained uh -huh. <coughs> so Aham. So Aham means first letter A, last letter Ha. This is real because this is conjunct. K and S conjunct, two consonants are here. This is real. <coughs> ha. So, A vowel, <coughs> Ha consonant, and N nasal. All letters produced from these three. All vowels come from A, consonants come from Ha, and nasal comes from Ma. It is coming, you will see. So he abbreviated. And aham means I, and he said aham means whole world. Yes, A to Z. Everything comes, A to Z. So he explained in three periods, three periods, Ashokan period, before Ashokan period and in Tantric period. So Tantric period was later. Hmm. 
and we can't say because it comes from Atharva Veda. Acha. So Akshara, before Akshara, what was? Alphabet. So most important. It was called Matrika, the mother of whole literature. Clear. Now we come the other step. So we understood what is letter and what is alphabet. So letter Varna Akshara. Two. An alphabet <coughs> Varnamala Akshar Samanaya and in Tantra Akshamala and Aham. Nowadays, they say Varnamala. Nowadays, also. Yeah. In Hindi, they borrow. So, consonants are like lame. 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 Acha. Without leg. Mm -hmm. They take stick or bhavil, then they can walk. These can be pronounced. Otherwise, no. <coughs> they can pronounce and they can be written. <coughs> so, this conscious step of a consonant take a stick of this and it is called in Sanskrit ekansh. Ekansh means one part. <coughs> and in Bhagavad Gita they use this word ekansh. Ek means one, ansh means part or limb. <coughs> In Bhagavad Gita, <coughs> 10th chapter, Krishna says, Ekanshena sthito jagat. I am staying in this world by one part. In God gives only one part to be conscious, this world. So the world is conscious, taking one part of God, three parts out of this world. So, mm. so by only one part is consciousness. Mm -hmm. So there is three more. Three more. So there are four. Part so, together. Yes, so yogis can part, you, 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 yogi can understand. Mm -hmm. So more consciousness now. Mm. And is there a name for all these four together? No. Like a collection name? No. <coughs> is, is this Bhuta? No? Mm -hmm. Acha. In Yurveda they say, The three parts is out of this world. In Bhagavad Gita they say, I stay only one part in the world. Ekan Shena Sthito Jagat. Jagat means world, Sthita means is two by one part. <coughs> so I give this one part. So this A is like God.
and one part of A is this conscious part. <coughs> so consciousness come to attach. Take this <coughs> stick and can be pronounced. And long a dir a ekansh this consonants come to attach. Consonants come in the place of unconscious. So five vowels, original, short, five <coughs> extended, and four diphthongs, altogether fourteen vowels. So first of all, I give you five original vowels. So this first original. Now second original, this. So what is this? Kundalini. Serpent. Serpent. Yeah. So first of all here seat. <coughs> and this R comes in all mobiles. They take help of a kansh of A, ah, all of us, you will see. So this a kansh comes here. And here coil of serpent. So it was written in the beginning. Now, <coughs> this seat, as I told you, circle, so this half circle, left to right, other circle, right to left, and coil. So see, half circle, half circle. Clear? So this is second letter. So E means Shakti. At the end you will say E. So this short form of Shakti. A is short form of Achyuta. E is short form of Shakti. Power. Energy. So I am making rules, only saying this, Shakti. <laughs> yes, so you should remember this. Like the story. Ashuta. Ashuta. What was the Ashuta? Achyuta. Achyuta. Chut means changeable. Ah. Achyuta, unchangeable. Yeah. And Shakti, E means Shakti, at the end you listen E, Shakti. And Shakti means power, energy. So in Devi Bhagavad Purana, it is said, Shiva has E, She, Shakti. If you take away Shakti, E, Shiva remains as Shava, so mean that body. Without Shakti, she remains a dead body, no life. 
no power. So Shiva becomes a Shava. You know Shava? Shava like in Shavasana. They have dead body? Yes. So this is power of E. Kundalini. Now, so E plus E. So what is short form of E? Ekansh. So E plus E. E plus E. In the beginning, E was written like this. So this is magnet, this is iron, this is Purusha, this is Prakriti. So this is going to attract to this and take one part of Master, one part of Purusha. So this dark is one part. So you are going to attach this, so E comes here. So it becomes E. And it was written like this before, but it, it became short after. So, E. Now, how Ekansh comes of this E? So, she told you all movies dependent upon Ekansh of A. Because A comes from through A. A. After all movies appear from through. So, first A, then other movies. So, they come later. First of all, A then E. So all letters, all vowels take help of one part of A. Leg. So C. This uh, seat, this one part of A and this comes here. So this one part of consonant comes here to attach leg of this letter. So most important to understand, to fix in your mind, this Ekansh. So understand how this is written in this way, in this process. What is process? So I explained that this E was written first of all in this shape. So this was Ekansh of E. And this comes upon Ekansh of A left side, short always left side, long always right side. So this long, this and this and this comes here. So this line is right, this line is left. Long always right side, short always left side. So three vowels are pure vowels. So third vowel is right, pure. So third comes from lips, labial. This E, I question you, 
comes from which place of your mouth? The e. Pronounce and think. Meets the, the palate. Yeah. Yes. With the Heart palate. Heart and soft palate. Both are there. And this comes from lips. So same technique to write C. It is written these two Lips come together. Ah, not like that. It is written like this. So it is U. And short form of this U. Ekanch. So this uh, line, this vowel, ekansh of a, and this lower part is ekansh of u, this lower part. So this comes here, let. I told you short always let, right always, long always right side. So it's been only long and we shall finish about this lesson. So U plus U. This servant, this is master. So this goes to join this this iron, this magnet. It goes to attach this so lower part is a kanch. Lower part. So remove this upper part and this goes to join here. So this is written, this comes here. So this is ooh, two beats. And ekansh of this U, this ekansh of A, and this ekansh of long U, so comes here, right side, this right side. So ekansh of U, consonants come to attach this ekansh of vowels. So these three are pure vowels. Other two are not pure. So I pronounce and uh, only fourth letter, then you can understand that is pure or impure. So this girl rr, pronounce rr, rr. Rr. Mm, but the Hindi people can't pronounce. So in like way this uh, pronunciation is there? Yes, mm, sort of. Okay. And then Rik. Uh, correct. Therefore, you can pronounce the way Hindi people pronounce Z. Hmm? They can't pronounce R. Ritu. Ritu. Yes. They pronounce Z too. So, this is consonant and vowel. Ra consonant, E vowel. And South Indian people pronounce Ru. Pronounce Yes, they pronounce. 
so they can't pronounce. They taught by their mother dialectical pronunciation. So women can't pronounce r. So they pronounce z and r. So this is mixed, not pure. So pure are only three vowels, a, e, u. And two are impure, so these are called, impure means mixed, means less. We can't say impure or we can't say uh, mixed, we can say less vowels, less. So r and so fifth is nr, we pronounce nr. L L L L L L L L L Yes. L L L L L L L L L L L So these are less. <laughs> so three are this So I write also these two. So Indian students say R, I don't remember. They help take help of A. So the, here you see A, this seat and two this dependent and this tongue. So every letter says how to pronounce. So tongue move like this, r, r, touch here, cerebrum, cerebrum, roll, r, 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 yes, roll, so they say yes, so this, r, ekansh, this, and long, R goes to R and take this double and ekansh this. So this letter teaches us how to pronounce. Very scientific. Is it tongue like this? Roll r and r. So one means r, two means r. And ra goes to change into l. Mostly, in many words you will see, Ra is changed into La. And you see in Sanskrit is Pura. Puras or Puram. And Greek is You know Greek? No. Polis. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, because R goes to all L. Yes. Mm -hmm. Poli. Poli. So, Pur means city. Polis means city. Mm -hmm. Really? Metropolis. <laughs> and from city comes politics. So, Polis, politics. Politics does not come from belief. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. From the city, yeah. So, R change into L, Ma. In Sanskrit also it happens. Yes. So, the R, r developed into L. So, it is written this time also comes here. L, L. And this is less power, power. 
So no, he comes is here and is long. This not used in Sanskrit literature. Only it is used in tan tantric worship. This long never used in Sanskrit literature. Only tantric worship. Because in tantra they worship letters. So no ekans or both. So he faced these five original letters, original vowels, and five enlarged dir. So we had ten. Now in next lesson we shall see the thongs four. So altogether forty vowels. Okay, have you some question? Clear? No questions. No. So we finished all the questions. Om, Om Guru Deva. Guru Deva.